Beautiful Capricorns, and welcome to your weekly forecast reading, guys. It's the 30th. It's Happy New Year's. It's going to be incredible, guys. After we had this solar eclipse in Capricorn, your sign, it really gave us an intense clarity. Even if there were some emotions or just the epiphanies came with some stark realizations, it's really helping us to not just get clear and focused, but giving us the determination and at best the motivation and will to just charge right into 2020. It isn't a sprint, but it's definitely a determined movement in. So I'm very excited. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, or Rising. So please be sure to check all three to have a, a clear understanding of the energetic forecast. And if this is your first time watching me, thank you so, so much for taking the time. And if this serves you or resonates with you in some way, can you please like or subscribe below or share it with someone you believe this can serve? All right, Capricorns, deep breath in. Let's see. Guidance for sign of Capricorn. There we go. One more. Yes. Okay, Capricorns, we have the Nine of Coins, Knight of Coins, the Decision Card, the Magician, if I can get it off the table, Three of Swords, King of Raphael, and the Emperor. Guys, right out the gate, the Knight of Ariel is letting you know, especially when it comes to your investments, there's so much to accomplish. There's so much already coming out the gate this year. You're already thinking about, okay, your physical round. There's so much to do. Maybe you want to start school, buy that house, start that family, throw yourself into work, put put your energy into your, your material or your physical world, your own self-development. When you have the night of Ariel, the universe is letting you know you're being watched over. Now, usually if this is a very physical thing, there's a male aspect or a masculine energy that is watching over you, whether you know it or not, helping you out. This can be a grandfather, a father figure, a best friend, a mentor of some, of some form. But just understand that you're being looked at. You have more help than you think. With this, with the beginning of this year, Capricorn, and I think you're going to like this, what you're being guided to do, not to be overwhelmed with all the incredible things that are going to be happening as you move forward, but to make a detailed plan. Yeah, lots of people do their New Year's Day resolutions. That's all great. This is more about, okay, you maybe get like a whiteboard or some dry erase on your in your sliding glass door. Be like, look, at these are my goals. Boom, 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 boom. What are my first three steps for each one? Boom, 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 boom. Now, what do I need to get that started? Detailed plan. It doesn't have to be crazy minutia, but it does have to be actionable steps. Now, you have the decision card. You guys are probably procrastinating because you're nervous. The thing is, when you kind of stay in limbo with just a bunch of ideas and to-dos and visions, you feel overwhelmed and therefore you don't start. You, you lack a sense of confidence, Capricorn, and it's unnecessary. You're only holding yourself back. When you have the decision cards, you're already kind of feeling it in your body, maybe a little overwhelm, a little, ugh, you know, so it's saying, look at detox. This is not just about like, you know, fasting or, or drinking lots of water. This is about grounding this energy out. You must make a decision, release yourself from, release yourself from yourself. You're only holding yourself back. And, it's, and let me tell you, Capricorn, let me be your sign. This is not legitimate fears. These are, I mean, yeah, there's things that can happen along the way, but this, this is insecurity. This is a lack of confidence in the self. Can I do it? Overwhelm. So yeah, you might feel that I'm not invalidating your emotions, but I'm saying the things that you're scared of, the things that you're making reasons to drag your feet to procrastinate are inaccurate. They're not real. It feels real, but there's actually no physical things. You know what I'm saying? So make that decision and move forward. You have the magician. This tells me that you created all these incredible opportunities. You are now stepping into a time of your life, Capricorn, where you are living aspects of your dream and now you're being guided to move forward, expand them, step up in your career, step up into your relationship, step up into your material dreams, whether it's buying that house or going on that trip, step into it. You are there, now step into it. You manifested this. So this discomfort, this insecurity, I mean, you, you created all these opportunities. So you, this is something you're going to have to take a deep breath, surrender up, have faith in yourself. You're not alone. You're not walking this path by yourself. And now you must walk past your fears. Understandable. You're human. We all have them. 
but they'll only keep you where you're at and that's not where you want to be you created this new opportunity so now Take a deep breath. Know that no one has all the answers. No one ever feels 100% ready. Everybody has fears. All of us have some sense of insecurity. That's just human nature. But your divine nature is letting you know this feels right. This feels good. This is your opportunity. I have what it takes and the divine is going to provide for me. I'm going to walk. You have the three of swords. Now, the three of swords is a grief card. You are releasing yourself from a lot of pain, Capricorn. This, this, this new story, it is nothing, nothing like your past. So by stepping into this beautiful new arena, yes, you can kind of see the stark difference between where you're at and going versus where you've been. And sometimes when there's that stark difference, it's scary because why? Because this is so incredible and so beautiful and so new that it's scary to fail. It's It feels scary to, to be rejected, the idea of being vulnerable or rejected or whatever fear. But understand, if you keep focusing on the things that have been, you only recreate it. This is different. So release your past. Allow yourself to heal. Come to terms. Accept. Understand that you're going to, you, you grew from those situations and that. that pushed you to work, to turn, to make changes, to focus and create this beautiful new reality. King of Rock, King of Cups, it is safe for you to trust. I'm seeing a lot of masculine energy in this reading, a lot. So it's safe for you to trust your own masculine energy too. And masculine energy is action oriented. It's safe for you to trust. It's safe for you to follow your passion. You Right now, you have the ability to accomplish many things at the same time. Um, you're somebody who's honorable. You, you have the ability to, to move forward in faith. And know that because it feels right emotionally, the universe supports it. You have the emperor. You're being asked to take charge. Grab your life by both hands and move. No one's going to hand this to you. Stop waiting for things to fall into place. Stop waiting for that person to give you the green light. Stop waiting for this to be good. Nah, they can all wait as long as they want. That's their life. You take charge. This is somebody who's stable, efficient, ambitious, three steps ahead. This is your life. You've earned it. You've created it. You say, fear, I know you're there. Thank you for trying to protect me. Take a back seat. I'm doing this now. And you driving forward. It's a, and it's a time of action. It's a time of, of standing in your power. It's okay if you don't have all the pieces. Nobody does. Everything changes. And anything new has a learning curve. So yeah, you're going to stumble. Yeah, you're going to try to find your way. Like when you ride a bike. It's normal. When you first learn to walk. It's when you first drive a car. It's the same things. It's You're meant to do this. You deserve it. You have to be the one that says, okay, you have to be the one that releases yourself from your fears. You have to be the one that takes charge and moves. No one could walk for you, you know? Do it, Capricorn. This is an incredible freaking week of empowerment, determination, trust, and faith in yourself, following your passion, and fulfilling it in many different areas. I'm so, so excited for you, Caps. This is going to be a beautiful week. If you'd like a reading with me, a healing session, or a coaching session, my link will be down below. Otherwise, have an incredible, beautiful New Year's, and I will see you next week for next week's readings.